This is a company tutorial on how to order stores. What's up everyone? Uh, welcome to Scotland. How to order stores, Scott. And that's the traffic commander. You see like about 25 miles from the traffic. I wasn't seeing that then. How to order stores, Scott. Anyway, I'm here. How to order stores, Scott. Previous one, TM Master, catalog, previously ordered items in a list of items that have been ordered the most. Items that are ordered every bloody trip. And you just go click, 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 click. I want this many of them, that, 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 order. Control container. Uh, for exercise for exercise, um, just let me know that uh, we had a truck come down hard on our heli deck. We currently have a full blanket closet and there is no precise claim from our front of view and So we do still require a look around. Thank you. That's all copy for exercise purposes only. I've just had the Coast Guard come back to me. They've scrambled two choppers from Sombra and the ETA at yourselves will be 0740, 0740, and I am now currently five minutes from your 500 for 360. Excise purposes only. Copy that, thank you. Yeah. Not done that for a long time. It's fun. Another thing we used to do as part of our realistic training in this job which was stopped a few, well, many years ago now, was the first day training, we used to spend a few hours or an evening at Aberdeen Royal Infirmary at the Accident and Emergency Ward. We were there with our white coats, walking around the Accident and Emergency Ward, pretending to be doctors, but we were there to learn, you know, we were there to learn how to treat whatever came through the door. They stopped doing that. I, th I can't remember why they stopped doing it. Probably something to do with insurance. But now, all our practice is done on dummies, other crew members, resussy and stuff like that. People don't even get to see blood as part of their train anymore. Oh, and as you've seen, these fucking ridiculous Terramar videos that have been on the go. Now, I'm stabbing a guess here, but they haven't updated them, they haven't changed them. And we've got to watch these every trip, and they've been on the go for way over 20 years. It's got to be way over 20 years. There's so many people on these videos that I know for the past who just aren't around anymore. Not to mention the ships that they use, they're all gone. The realism in this job, in the training, is just non-existent anymore. One good thing actually about this Terramar filming, where we have to assess ourselves, is that you do get the usual suspects who stand in the background when it comes to doing exercises. We rotate, you know, we do rotate. Everybody gets to have a go at being in the fire suit, whatever. We don't have the same people all the time. But what many people have never experienced before 
is like I say, these the scramblets. We get the scramblets over the side, and everybody except the skipper and the chief engineer and myself that on there instructing as to get down in the rescue zone and get a dummy out the water and up the scramble nets. And there is a technique on just it's about a metre that they've got just to just to get down to the water from the rescue zone, a metre and a half even. You can't just go down there and grab somebody and pull them up. There's a definite technique to do it. There's a method of doing it. And you'll see that in my videos. How the other ships do this, I've no idea. I've no idea. I'll be interested to know how the other ships do it. Or do they really do it? Or just say, cut, and then the next stage, they've got somebody out of the water. Or just use dummies that have no weight in them. That's probably what they do. I've no idea. Be interested to know. to myself. I've got a, a fake shit, a stink bomb. I'm sorry Yuri. And we're I'm so fucking sorry. Where's the shit? I can't see it. Oh, it's there. Right. Just point at the shit. This one? Let's hit the camera. Yeah. The okay. One. Are we ready? Are we going to go and get him? Right. I'll activate this first. I want to see it. Yeah, I said what. <laughs> Wait, what do you need to do? Oh my god. Oh my god. Jesus. That's the second proper abandoned rig drill from the, this is from Platform North. Today, well, one from Platform South, one from Platform North. I think they'll be listening to me. They actually asked me for an RVP. This drill's been going on now for about 40 minutes. Can you please ring the PTC, please? But it sounds to me like their alarms in the background are so loud they can't hear each other radios. That's why we have drills. Meanwhile, lovely sunset, eh, Albert? Beautiful sunrise, beautiful sunset. Yeah, it was indeed. Day 24 of the trip. This is supposed to be a flat calm day called the forecast. To the Highland Guardian over there on his way to one of the platforms north of us. 
I'm not sure when he's going to be working cargo anytime soon. So if they're going by the forecast, as we have to do. the ship, Albert? Yes. Okay. Oh, let the cook know. Right. He's not cooking at the moment, but he's cleaning the galley. Uh, give him three rings. Uh, let them know that we're turning. That's three rings. Steering. Make sure we don't big coming up our chufter, up our duper. There's something a bit big there, we'll wait for that to go by. Oh, I think it's as good as we're going to get for the next few seconds. Right, wheel hard over. Wait for the start of the turn. You can see it's turning there, turning the port. So we start to make a move. Give us some beans. Well, mate, one of the many, many highlights of this job is getting rid of the old milk and reducing the amount of milk that we have in a new carton. Being such a ship design, as soon as you open this, you've got milk everywhere. Uh, being on a rolly ship, you put it in the fridge and you've got milk all over the fridge. So, we get rid of the old milk, or pour it on the uh, smoking veranda. <coughs> and open the new one. Over here, please, cameraman. Yeah. Uh, we have to get a bit of that. Otherwise, it's all over the fridge. Right, here's, here's the fun part. We now start the fire pot. It's what my mother and father would have called, would have called clarting. You from the northeast of England will be familiar with the term clarting. To clart. No. <laughs> Bloody sun, eh? You turn your back on it and it pops up. Probably about another 15 minutes there, I reckon, Albert. Nice though, eh? He's gone. He's lost interest. Aye. So you reckon, was it... We'll get the green flash as it rises, eh, Albert? Uh, no, I don't care. We get him when it comes on. But you do? But you should never look at it through binoculars. Because he's steered, he's Grand steered National, consistent. Grand consistent. National day to day. I've got the favourite in the draw, in the sweep. Tiago's after it. He'll swap it in front of the horse, won't you, mate? <laughs> what, ha what happens if I win first, second and third place? I get you, all money. You've got all the money. <laughs> but even, even better, if I win first, second and third, I've got all the money. No, no, have you ever thought of that, have you? No, <laughs> you come for <laughs> it would be brilliant if all these horses besides mine falls and we just watch mine play it slowly. But you only get first. I know, the first, second, third. No, if there's only one horse finishes, you can only go first, can't you? So, what do you think I'm going to have to keep all the money? Well, I'll have to keep it. <laughs> <coughs> these are my five horses for the Grand National. Our 
got beaten out, but of course it's far too tight to spend ten pounds on enjoying himself, aren't you, mate? Oh, absolutely. You know, get your hands on the goals. <laughs> We're here off the 2023 Grand National, being delayed because of the usual suspects protesting. But with the help of the locals, they were deterred. <coughs> Not horses. Those horses. Twice round the track. Who's got Mr. Coffee? Any of us? Mr. Coffee? Yeah. I'll swap your Mr. Coffee for. <laughs> <laughs> Next from the great Evers Oscar Bell, Elvis, then the red cap of the Mamanus Runners of the Wave of the Sea. Mr. Incredibles on that one outside. Cappadano comes next with carefully selected as they make their... Showed previous Georges in here, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Showed previous Georges in here, isn't it? Yeah.
who got third? You were so far in the head there, Elvis. So far in the head. At least I got my tenner back, eh? Oh, you came third, did you? Which one? I don't know. I'm asking you. Congratulations. And Derek Fox passed Finley just as he was 50 quid. 17 He's gonna get his money back, got third place. I don't think we've ever had a grand left of board here. We've got one Sunday back, have you? You got first and second a couple of years ago. Oh, I'll see you on the bridge in a minute, Elvis. For your money. Who came second then? Oh, right, okay. Yeah, Albert, you're, it's oh, already yes. recording. Okay. <coughs> okay, Jackie. Right, uh, well, I've got first place in the, in the sweep, and since it was a Scottish horse, wasn't it, that one? It was not a Scottish rider. Scot well, well, that'll do me. One, two, three, four, five of your Scottish £10 notes. I would take them. <laughs> That's my win is the Grand National. Tiago, second place. 30 English pound for you. Oh no, something missing there. One, two, three. It's a couple of Oh no, I think mine's going to be wallets, right? One, two, three, four, five, I better leave one there. Somebody's got right. paid. So, it's me. Right. Oh, you've been paid. Yeah. So, Unbelievable, I think. I <laughs> You was the part of it. <laughs> uh, right, so. Oh. 30 Scottish pound for you then. Oh well. Why not just give me the oh, English? I'll get this right in a minute. Right, there's my... You can hear Scottish. There's my 50 Scottish pound. You can have 30 English pound. Yeah? I'll take it. Yeah. yeah. No, Portuguese. Where's my brother's Portuguese pound? That's worth about a fucking 100,000 Portuguese <laughs> pound. <laughs> oh. Okay? So that's your second place, is it? Ah, uh, I think it's the The winning uh, second place. It was all the way at the back. And then the last jump, he just flew past Abdi. I'm just like, oh, I think I can't ramble. I ramble. I was going, I was saying, I was like, no, separate stage. Oh, where, where's the ramble? Where's the ramble? He's right in the middle of the park. Give him to the last jump, and I think he'll take off. Yeah. What happened? Last jump, took off. Caught Abdi, went past again. So it's always on the last jump. The favourites always sit in the middle and just ride it out, ride it out, and then. The horses just go out of speed and they're trained. It's right. never the one in the front that for the first. Copley and then Copley Beach, they were first for the whole entire race and then yeah. that's finished one of mine. at the back. That's one of mine. Well, Copley Beach. Yeah. Oh. Hi, see you, Graham. You're welcome. So it's a bit warm in here. 